Hi everyone, today I'm going to test out a stabilizer. This is the Feiyu 360 and actually I'm holding it right now so even though I'm walking it should be quite a stable shot. And what I'm going to do through this is basically adjust from using the stabilizer, the gimbal, and then, oh sorry, it's moving around a little bit. Um, I literally just got this a couple of days ago so I'm still learning how to use it but you can see, oops, look, if I move it around, um, I am using it on a pole so it's extended at the moment and that gives me this distance so that the camera isn't so in my face. Um, it seems to be quite smooth, you can see even if I run backwards we should have quite a stable shot and if I turn it around you can see that I can walk forward and it should also still be stable and if I run this is a good test because this has really got a lot of movement so we can see how it looks. Um, hopefully my audio is okay as well, let me turn it around. Um, still learning how to do this. There we go, so you can see me again. Um, what I'll do is we'll walk around for a minute and then I'll take it off the gimbal. Um, right now I need to learn exactly how to use it. But it uh, should be a pretty smooth picture. Now I'm using the Canon G7X which has stabilization built in anyway. Uh, optical stabilization but it's not the same as having a gimbal which can really help with bigger movements. So you can see right now it's facing one way and if I turn it I can get it into selfie mode. Oops I had a little bit of vibration there. Now if you don't get the balancing absolutely perfect you do have a little bit of vibration which I'm encountering right now. It is a little bit difficult getting the, um, the balancing just right. Oops getting my framing perfect. Anyway I think we've got enough of the stabilized shots. Now let me go to handheld mode and we can compare the difference. So now I'm holding the camera manually and you can probably see, I can see it already, that it's kind of like this. I'm going to try and hold it as stable as possible because I want to give it a fair comparison. Now unfortunately I forgot my selfie stick so I have got my arm stretched out right now holding the camera. Um, I don't know if the selfie stick would make much difference but I can definitely see there's already a difference here. I'm going to try run forward like I did earlier and I can, I can see already that it's a lot jumpier and I can actually hear the, um, the motors inside trying to adjust the lens. The G7X is a little bit noisy when it comes to optical stabilization. Um, let's go around like this. This is a really good setting to do this video by the way. Go around like that. I mean to be fair the G7X stabilization is very good. Um, so if you've got a camera that doesn't have good stabilization you're going to see a much bigger difference using the gimbal and just using the camera. This camera has very good stabilization but we should still see a difference. If I run forwards. Now in reality, I'm not actually running that often when I shoot videos, um, but like I said, this is just you know, a demonstration of what it might be able to do for you. Um, let's try run forward this way and see how it does. Again, I'm gonna try and hold it as smooth as possible. I mean, actually that doesn't look too bad to me on this screen here. I'm not sure how good that was, but Seemed okay, let's try run this way. Yeah, I mean that didn't seem too bad to me. Like I said, the G7X does have very good stabilization anyway. Um, but the Feiyu 360 can actually be used with many cameras. It can be used with 360 cameras, it can be used with cell phones, it can be used with uh, digital compacts like this. Um, so yeah, just a quick video comparing it. If you did enjoy this video, please give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.